This video will demonstrate the new features of Object Storage Extension 2.2. The major new announcement of this release is the multi-region support for Cloudian. Object Storage Extension 2.2 supports multi-region topology for multi-site VMware Cloud Director and multi-region support for a single-site VMware Cloud Director. The regions need to be added for a tenant by the provider administrator in the Object Storage Extension UI. Then the tenant can be onboarded to a region. While onboarding a tenant to a Cloudian S3 region, we need to select the default Cloudian storage policy for the buckets of the tenant. This policy is needed to define how the S3 data of the tenant will be kept and replicated in that region. The default storage policy can either be enabled for customization or not by the onboarded tenant. In this release, we can also publish Cloudian S3 storage policies to all our selected tenants. After creating a Cloudian storage policy, we can publish it to a tenant. The policy will be available for selection when the tenant is onboarded to a region. While onboarding a tenant to a region and selecting the default Cloudian storage policy, at this point you can choose to prevent or allow the selected storage policy to be customized by the tenant. To see how this works, we will show the policies we have set for our tenant for all the regions it is associated with. You will see that we have three different storage policies for all the regions, but only one cannot be selected for customization. This happens because when the tenant was onboarded to the region, the policy was locked in for customization. Another powerful feature of Object Storage Extension 2.2 is the bucket replication across regions. To show how this feature works, we will need two buckets into different regions. Bucket replication, though, is also possible within the same region. In our example, we will create a replication rule for a source bucket in our south region. Then we will specify which files part of it will be replicated to the destination bucket. This is defined by the prefix. All files starting with that prefix will be replicated. Note that there are a few requirements for bucket replication, such as allowing versioning but not allowing object lock. For the full list of requirements, go to the Object Storage Extension 2.2 page on docs.vmware.com. Now, we will upload a few files to the source bucket that has a set replication rule. We will also create a folder with the prefix that we used for the rule and add a file to it. As you can see from our example, all files starting with our prefix have been replicated to the destination bucket. Even files in the folder with the same prefix are replicated. The final enhancement in the Object Storage Extension 2.2 release is the short S3 endpoint path to the S3 buckets and files. With this, our demonstration completes. Thank you for watching.